All right, we are back for round two on the draw. I never keep one lander, but I'm gonna keep that one. And I'm gonna regret it in a few turns. Now honestly, that hand is just insane with one or two lands. There's another red player in the draft. What? What? <laughs> what the hell? There's a, there's a player who didn't do Savage Alliance at some point, okay. As I drew the second land I needed and two drops, so that's good. Like, even if I miss on three for a little bit of time, I should be fine between Bombardment and Flow. I, I can't believe that there's another red player in the draft, though. <laughs> this makes no sense. Boon, okay. Oh, you want to play the Rimval War. Uh, that's, that's a war I think I'm pretty well suited to win. Red, black, okay, okay. I think time, time has come to castigate a bit. Could, could see my castigator being murdered here. But, like... Yeah, I mean, red black doesn't have many instant speed creature unless they have Manus Outlet. So, and if they murder my Castigator, I mean, fine. This thing would have get it, get murdered at some point anyway. And if they have nothing, it's great because now I'm just gonna remove every creature they will ever play and continue the beat down and continue the beat down forever. Uh, Real question is, should I play the Smoldering Werewolf? And the answer is... I don't know. Probably not before attacking, but... Doesn't really change my clock. Well, actually it means the opponent is dead next turn if I draw land and they play a two toughness creature. And even if they play some one toughness creature like I have Savage Alliance and there's no wrath in black really, in black red. Yeah, I think we can afford to do that. I mean, I'd rather kill creatures with that, but it, it it does change my clock a little bit, especially if they find a way to kill the Castigator. Like, I could see my opponent uh, uh, having uh, a 13 death on turn 6 on my Castigator, but now they might 13 death on the Werewolf instead. So yeah, I think it's actually... yeah, they just conceded. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This might be this might end up I mean the draft was super long, but the games the games weren't long so far. And the opponent have conceded so so quickly. <laughs> okay, we are back. Back win with the same with the same tools. <laughs> when the opponents concede but you have Savage Alliance and uh Incendiary flow in hand. I guess the werewolf did give me the kill on the next turn since I could, uh, t you know, throw the f the flow at my opponent. Uh, well, that hand has very few removal, which is unusual, but it's it's a good hand. <laughs> like Weaver of Lightning is so broken in my deck, and you know, Brazen Wolf, always good. If the opponent has an aggressive draw, it could be annoying. You know, I have some three drop though. It's not like who called the bloodline. This is probably gonna be quite gonna be quite great for the opponent. Uh, seems like a good card. Savage Challenge was a very great top deck though. Like if my Weaver of Lightning end up dying, this will help me keep the all the one one token uh, at bay. Um, So I guess now the opponent can flip their Conduit of Storm if I don't kill it right now. Kinda wanna keep the Savage Alliance though. And I can still kill it with Savage Alliance afterwards because of the Weaver. 
And if they use a trick to kill the weaver, then they kind of flip that, so all in all it doesn't change, but there is a small chance they attack with that and actually don't flip it, but they, you know, play some other creature, in which case my play is much better. I mean, if this flips, I can still kill it next turn. If this doesn't flip, uh, it's it's fine. Could also take two damage, but I think the opponent is flipping that. If they flip, it's fine because uh, you know, I can, again, I can still kill it, and uh, we'll end up in a spot where. Uh, they use mana. Okay, they are not killing that. That seems like... Yeah, play a 3-drop, please. Or a storm... Yeah, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think I want to Savage Alliance right now. kind of want to play the Pyre Hound first, but I don't think it's actually a great move, especially since I, I will have I would have to take quite a bunch of damage, and maybe they can flip that too. So I want to escalate with two modes, which are going to be two damage to one creature. Um, yeah, two damage here. Each, one damage to each creature my opponent's control. And one damage here. <laughs> A good old 2 4 one. I could attack, but I dress a block. So I will not attack. Like the longer this game goes, the better it's gonna be for me with Devil's Playground, I think, anyway, so no reason to attack and take unnecessary damage. <laughs> yep, I have three cards left in hand, so I feel pretty confident. Oh, that was a boon of a miracle, okay. Uh, actually, I'm gonna play Pyre Hound first, because here I deal 4, but I gain 2, so it's kind of it's an even trade regarding damage, and I kind of want to have that as soon as possible onto the battlefield, especially since I'm likely to Devil's Playground next turn. Yeah, I think it's it's a fine fine move. A reaver, I don't mind that. Mm. I could double Brazen Wolf actually, it's probably better than the Vils Playground. In yeah, because the the wolf are gonna attack next turn and my oven's creature doesn't match up very well against those. So, yeah, as my devil, well, they can attack too, but would deal less damage. Like, my oven cannot really double block, it's pretty inefficient, and none of their creature block my things efficiently. I guess I can discard a card to block with a vampire and uh, one of their creature, but it's still a 2 for 1 in my favor, so... Ooh, well that one is threatening. Gold Knight Castigator. Just taking all the damage, okay. And now I do have quite a bunch of blockers, so I can castigate our next turn without too much 
problem. I might have to jump, I mean, to block with quite a bunch of things on the outcast. They just conceded. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My opponent just didn't want to deal with, <laughs> with that point, <laughs> which I can understand. Okay, another very short game. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you for the final. I I'm really glad this, <laughs> this deck <laughs> made it to the final. Okay, sweet.